everyone, it's Dr. West and Dr. Brow uh, spending Saturday afternoon mm -hmm. with you. We know everyone's sort of housebound um, in this this uh, kind of stressful time right now. Uncertainty. And, yeah, this uncertainty and limitations. So we want you all to know that we're, we're going through it too and we're here with you and want to be able to help you continue on your health journey and the health journey for your family uh, to, to be able to keep this going even with the circumstances that we're under right now. So Dr. Brown and I got together and thought, how can we help people stay on the right track, not break the bank, and try to keep everyone uh, happy and with the eating? So we pulled stuff out of the fridge. What you have on hand. Yep. You know, what's there? How can you manage what you got in the fridge? How do you put a meal? Maybe stretch it to two, you know, with what you have at home right now. So we pulled things literally out of our refrigerators um, with an idea of how do you yank stuff out of the fridge and put together uh, a meal that's pleasing and healthy all at the same time. So we have a zucchini, um, some bell peppers, uh, brightly colored ones. We, I don't have a red one, you didn't have a red one no. either, but a red one would be good if you're going to the store. Uh, a red onion, some mushrooms. Uh, chicken as our base. You chicken. could do shrimp, fish, even steak, anything that you have. Yep. Uh, asparagus, great probi or, yeah, prebiotics in that asparagus. Right. Broccoli. Spaghetti squash. We have pasta noodles, linguine. Um, also in the freezer, we didn't want to pull it out because it was frozen, the cauliflower, cauliflower rice. Cauliflower rice. Another, if you're not doing grains, cauliflower rice is fantastic for that. So, what are we going to, now we're going to, with the stuff we have, we're going to kind of cut it up, prepare it. Yeah, we're going to show you, I think we have a couple of ideas here of how to get two meals out of one, uh, kind of cook once, eat, or yeah, cook once, eat twice with, with this mixture. So the vegetables, certainly the broccoli is, um, you know, kind of one of the most immune boosting things you can eat. It's a great detoxifier. It's, um, you know, really gonna help support the immune system. And the asparagus, as I mentioned, is a great prebiotic. Mm -hmm. um, so right there, uh, you know, we have two powerhouses. The vitamin C and the peppers, that's a plus and B6, the B vitamins in the chicken as well as the protein are all uh, probably not things you think about when you're pulling this stuff out of the fridge, but now that we are thinking about it, we can mm -hmm. kind of tell you why this, this turns out to be a healthy meal. So we were, as we were getting ready for this, we thought, what do we got? And when, when I looked at it, I thought a pasta primavera or some uh, several ways to do this and we'll talk about yep. that as we go. So we're gonna kind of prep some of this up, right? And mm -hmm. then we will walk through. We don't wanna keep it to a long video. We wanna make it nice and short so you can just get to the high points that you need to get to and then have it put together after that. So let's take a bit of a break from us. We're gonna put this together and then we'll come back and back. go from there. Okay, we're back. So we've taken all of those vegetables that we uh, showed you earlier and cut them up. Uh, we'll finish cutting up the asparagus here in a minute. So uh, I cubed up the zucchini and the mushrooms, uh, sliced up the broccoli. And something I want to point out, uh, in, since we're talking about dollar stretching, probably some of the best nutrient is actually in the stalk of the broccoli. So I know we tend to get that head of broccoli and whack off the stalk and throw it away, but that is that is a higher calcium content actually. So using those stalks, just mix them in with the florets, nobody's really gonna notice. You know, you might wanna peel them just a little bit to get some of that tough outer skin off, um, but definitely um, uh, chunk up those uh, stalks and mm -hmm. use that, and that way you're not wasting uh, a lot of what you paid for. So that's one thing. Uh, we have our peppers, um, asparagus, onion. You brought out the garlic. And I brought out the garlic because we, you know, got to add some flavor. And garlic also, huge, 
huge, huge immune, immune booster. Can't Absolutely. can't say enough about it, uh, unless you're on a, a low FODMAP diet, in which case this isn't going to go. Um, but for those who aren't, and we're kind of speaking to the general group here, you can get it in the jar. You can get it in the um, clove if you want. If you're not you know big on cooking and don't want to be bothered with cutting up cloves of garlic, the jar is great. You can you know. There's lots of conveniences, you just got to pay for them, so pick which one you want. So, and convenience with, also, okay. if you don't have the time we we're talking about, mm -hmm. time consumption, you can get some of this stuff already prepared in the grocery store for yourself. And also, we had fresh broccoli, but frozen broccoli would work beautifully. Um, and if we're trying to save dollars buying a big bag of, you know, family size bag of frozen broccoli, you're going to probably be able to stretch that further. So Multiple we had fresh, uses. but um, there is absolutely nothing wrong with the frozen. So go for that. All right. So and then we cut up our chicken. chicken. So we're ready to go. So we're going to come back. Uh, did you want to talk about some of the things? You had the sauce and a couple of things we'll talk about when we get back. Yeah, um, okay. Dr. Farrow is going to start uh, start cooking, and we're going to come up with variations here, other ways to do this uh, as he's prepping. So we're putting in uh, a little bit of just a little wee bit of olive oil um, to uh, sauté the chicken, and we're going to add this in and throw this all together for you. And you can season this with salt, pepper to start with, and then work on to what you like, what your family likes, kind of the flavors up to you. Or if there's a particular sauce that you like that maybe you have made, or grandma's favorite sauce, you can utilize that. Yeah, that's one thing um, while, while this is cooking. There's lots of ways to do this. You can keep it simple with just olive oil and the fresh vegetables. You can add some sauce. You know, we're not promoting any particular brand. We just grab this out of the pantry. So you can certainly, when all of this is done, throw in some sauce and let it simmer through. That way you have uh, um, a variation. If the kids like sauce, um, throw that in. All of these vegetables do great in, in a sauce base. One of the other things that I've, um, is an option uh, if you don't, you don't want to cut up chicken or you don't have chicken breast, but you have ground turkey. You can certainly use yeah. ground turkey um, and it'll be a little bit more of a meat sauce, uh, but that's perfectly acceptable as well. You also so throw you seafood in if you enjoy seafood. Throw in that fresh shrimp. 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 shrimp if you have, if you have that. Um, as variations, but you know, if we're trying to stick to you know, what most people have, I think we're looking at chicken breasts or ground turkey or something like that. And if you could our ground beef, um, you can use that as well. Uh, all of that goes with the vegetables um, to be able to kind of make a hearty, healthy spoon. Turn that down just okay. All right, I'm going to start adding in some of our. Vegetables. We'll start with the onions first, give it a little bit of seasoning there. We'll add those slowly. Then we'll... So then we're just going to add in the other ones one by one. So hopefully when we get finished with this, they're all going to be the same tenderness. So you want to come back for that. Okay, we're, our cooking is right. done, and this really just took us probably 15 minutes to cut up the uh, vegetables and give this a quick saute. So not not a whole lot of time involved, and lots of uh, nutrient. This is a good nutrient dense meal. So with this, now you can have your condiments. If you had the cauliflower, you had a pasta, you had rice, any of those, spaghetti or squash. spaghetti squash as well. You know, any of that, now your, your meal's prepared. So with leftovers, we were just discussing several ways you can do that. And yeah, and if you, if you want to, you know, we just cooked enough 
probably for three people here, but um, if you just want to get all the cooking out of the way and do a big pan, whatever is left, you can turn into breakfast or brunch or mm -hmm. lunch or dinner for the next day by um, beating up, mixing up some eggs, putting that over and baking it or, or even using it sort of as a, as a pan frittata kind of thing. Mm -hmm. um, wraps. Uh, you yeah. can uh, use this as the filling for for wraps. Put some salsa on it. If, if you haven't already added sauce, put some salsa on it um, and use it as a wrap. So this this one maybe 20 minute prep um, can get you three meals and even more if you consider the variations maybe with um, with sauce or, or a different form of, of meat rather than the chicken breast. So we hope this is helpful for you. Um, if you have anything you want to learn more about, please just comment and right. we'll try to get back to you. Yeah, we'll see what we can do and we look forward to the next day in the kitchen. Next day in the kitchen. All right.